welcome back to DSI Performance Cars guys. Today we have got a 2015 Toyota GT86 automatic, um, really nice spec. Mileage has just ticked over 92k, but it's had a service at main dealer Toyota every single year. And it's literally been serviced a few months ago as well. So it's probably one of the best uh, examples based on history. And to be honest with you, general condition is really good as well. A couple of little light upgrades. Obviously, it's got the tinted front fog lights. Um, it's got some wheel spaces on there just to make it sit out a little bit nicer. It's got a cat back sports exhaust, which sounds really nice. It's not intrusively loud at all. Aftermarket head unit, uh, which is Apple Play as well as Android based. Uh, Android based, I think. Heated seats, sport mode, and it's obviously the pearl white. So going around it quickly now. Very light stone chips on the front. Is that a stone chip? I think that's a little stone chip in there, yeah. But nothing unusual. All in all, pretty good. It's got the two tone interior, which is quite popular. Obviously, if you have a look on our website, we actually sell quite a lot of these. Um, this one's a really nice example. It's got the LED tail lights as well. Pop them on so you can see. But it also comes with the original and the original head unit. So if you don't like those tail lights or you don't like the head unit, you can change them out. I'm just gonna turn them on for you so you can see actually. Let me get my key. Okay. All right, sorry about that. It's quite bright today. So it's like titanium tips. Tail lights look really cool. Hard to pick them up in the daylight, but they do look nice. Standard ones are in the boot. Nothing major here. It's a little bug. A little light scuff on there. It's got an aftermarket reverse camera. It's not advertised with it because they're aftermarket, so I don't know if they work very well or not. Looking all good so far. Like I said, it definitely doesn't look like the mileage, that's for sure. So it is pretty well kept. So quite tidy for 90k. Let's go inside. Passenger seat in nice condition. That's nicely padded still. The Alcantara's in good nick too. Back seats, like so many of these, I don't think they've ever been sat in. I don't know who's gonna fit in there, maybe a child. Power fold mirrors as well. A little snag there and a little snag there. Pretty minor. Cruise control, yeah, really nice spec actually. Like I said, look, they don't all have that sport button. And you've got a nice Apple Play head unit there, which uh, you'll see in the photos all the details for. <sighs> right, two keys. There's your mileage, just ticked over the 92. Obviously this is all Apple Play and this bit's the Android bit. If you look at the photos, you'll see where my phone's connected to it for Apple Play. You've got your heated seats, sport mutton, comes up on in there. Uh, what else I was gonna show you? The boot. So as I mentioned, it does come with the original tail lights and the original head unit if you prefer. So that's just a number plate recess and standard normal UK star plays, that's obviously JDM style. I'll give it a little blip for you because it is a warm engine now. So you can see it's not intrusively loud. Actually sounds really good, how it should have sounded from factory in my opinion. So there you go, thank you for watching. There'll be a link below in the description which will take you directly to the advert. If you've got any questions, give us a shout, bye.